Hey guys, Jack Scalfani here with my friend Brian, and uh, Brian's going to be showing us a new dish, right? Yes. And what's it called? Um, chicken enchiladas. That's it. It looks... That's it. This is it? This is it. It's okay. super, super easy. And it's like one of your top dishes at your house. It is. And and the thing is, we, we have people over every Friday night for our life group. Right. And then we also do the, the podcast and have people over. And this mm -hmm. is my most requested dish that we make. And it's probably the, the easiest that we make. This looks like a lazy man version, but it's a real. It's, it's really how you make it. This is it. Okay. So uh, you haven't even launched your podcast, but I'm going to spill the beans anyway. Yeah. Uh, what's the name of it? Sunday Evening Coffee. Sunday Evening Coffee. and Coffee, it, culture, and Christianity. Okay, so it's Christian-based. It is. Okay, so if you guys are uh, you want to listen to Christian-based programming, this is where people just kind of sit around and have a discussion about how they came to their faith? Yeah, no. It's, it's, so faith is a, a portion of it, but it's more, it's more actually based on people's stories. Um, you know, you and Tammy are going to come in and talk to us, and what we're doing oh boy. Is, is we're actually going to sit down and talk about um, stories about couples. So we have couples in over a cup of coffee. They kind of tell us their story, how they met each other, um, you know, what what their story is all about, and then how that relates to their marriage, how that's affected their marriage. Okay, so um, a lot of it's mar kind of marriage based. It is. It's always going to relate back to marriage and relationship. Yeah. Okay, because I I love my marriage, so yeah. I'm really excited to share that. Um, where can they go to sign up? Because it hasn't launched just yet. It hasn't. So it's SundayEveningCoffee.com. And there's a, a mail email list on there so they can find out what's coming up. All right. um, we're launching September 6th. And uh, Michael Del Giorno, who is a big talk show host here in Nashville, conservative uh, talk radio. He's our first guest, he and his wife. Nice. Um, we're also on Facebook at facebook.com slash Sunday Evening Coffee. You nailed everything, didn't yeah, you? So it's you all got all there. the social media. <laughs> all right. Okay, so we're going to come in close. I'm going to give him the microphone. I'm going to be his assistant. As you guys know, when I have guests, I do all the camera work and I cut everything and do whatever he needs. So uh, you ready to get started? Yes, sir. Let's do it. All right, so for our chicken enchilada recipe, we've got a couple things here. We're going to have a fresh lime. We're going to have a can of Rotel or uh, just a tomato chili mix. You don't have to be, uh, doesn't have to be Rotel brand, but you can have uh, whatever you have there. Have some heavy whipping cream. Have some 10 inch, uh, 10 count medium flour tortillas. Have some cumin, salt, pepper, garlic, cheese blend, cream cheese, and chicken. It's easy as that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and season our chicken breast. We're gonna put a little cumin on here. Gonna put a little garlic. Gonna put a little salt. A little pepper. Here's the key. You gotta flip it. You gotta season both sides. Emerald Gossi taught us that a long time ago, right? You can't just season one side. You have to season both sides. Now we're gonna come back in, get this side. All right, so we got our cast iron. It's good and warm. We're gonna go ahead and put our chicken in. I love to hear that sound. That meat searing right when it hits the pan. All right, so we're gonna get our chicken going. So now while our chicken's cooking, we're gonna go ahead and grab the kitchen egg. So I wanna show you guys a little trick on an easy way to shred your chicken. Jack, I got a tip for your, for your watching audience here. We're gonna put our chicken breast down into our KitchenAid or any stand mixer. Using our paddle attachment. Go ahead and raise this up. Lock it in place. Give it a good spin in the KitchenAid. Are you serious? And now you got shredded chicken. What? You're kidding me. You don't have to worry about chopping it. You don't have to worry about taking two forks and separating it. Hold on a minute. As simple as that. You got your shredded chicken bread. <laughs> so first what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix together our Rotel. So we've got our Rotel here. We we'll go ahead and put that in with the liquid. We want to keep that liquid. We're going to use a block and a half of this cream cheese. All right, so we've got a block and a half of cream cheese in there. Now we're going to go ahead and put our chicken in. And here's where you guys can, uh, you can experiment. So you've got a couple options here um, to be able to, uh, you can put some black beans in here, you can put some corn in here, whatever, you know, make it yours. This is just the very basic recipe and you can jazz it up. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to Get this lime ready to go. Gonna mash it a little bit to get it to give us a little bit more juice. 
Another trick, you can put that in the microwave for about 20 seconds, and that lime will produce a lot more juice for you here. And you know what? I always add a little extra cumin at this point. Even though the chicken had some cumin on it from the beginning, I like to put just a little bit more cumin in there. If you don't like it, don't add it. If you like extra, put it in there. You can also put some chili powder in here at this point if you want to spice it up a little bit more. So we're going to just bring this together. All right, guys, so we got our chicken all mixed up. I'm going to place our tortilla here on our cutting board. And this, again, this is up to you, but I like to put a good, good helping of, of this chicken mixture right in this tortilla. Get it all the way out to the sides. All right, now, so we're going to roll it. Once you have it rolled up, you're going to place it in the pan. Make sure you put the... Uh, the seam side down so it doesn't roll over on you. We're gonna do that for all the rest of the tortillas until you have a pan full of them. Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but cheese is subjective. To me, the more the better. So More! More, yeah. Do, do whatever you want. I'm gonna be pretty liberal with the cheese. Uh, my wife is a bit of a, uh, a health fanatic, and so she fusses about my food all the time. But here's the deal. I go to CrossFit four to five days a week. I'll eat as much cheese as I want. So this looks good. I mean, you could eat this and it would be fine. But this, this is gonna take it up a whole nother level. So you're just gonna drizzle some heavy cream all down the enchiladas. And that's it. We're ready to go into the oven. And so we're gonna stick this in the oven at 375. We're just gonna bake it with the cheese browns up a little bit and it's golden, bubbly. Mm, I can taste it right now. All right, there it is, guys. Look at that cheese. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take this one out. Got a nice cut on it here. Oh, look at that. All right, so we're going to try this. All right, so when I cook, I like to watch other people have the first bite, so I'm not going to take a bite until one of you do. All right, well, when I take my first bite, it's usually always bigger than it should be. <laughs> I can't get it to cut. I have to be cutting myself on this show. Hold on, wait. You guys, slow down, wait for me. It's really good. What happened to watching me eat? You wanna take a bite of mine? I said one of you eat, not both of you. Here. Are you kidding uh -huh. me? Look, it's, <laughs> look, you don't wanna let go. Oh God, you're retarded. Uh. All right, I'm okay now, <laughs> sorry. I had a little melt down there. Okay, buy my app, I have a new app. Go buy it at the dollar. Get the app. You didn't take my suggestion on the name though, so. Hmm. <laughs> mm. You take mine either, so don't feel bad. Mmm. It's really good. And it's simple. Mm-hmm. It's so hot. It's so hot. Oh, it's so good. All right, you guys. You gotta make this. Send me your pictures. Send me your comments, what you think. And it's it's amazing. I just want to thank Brian. Thank you very much for coming down here. Thank you for having me. Check out, what's the name of your? Sunday Evening Coffee. SundayEveningCoffee.com. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Stop. Get out of the camera. What are you doing? <laughs> this is all day here. That should have been recording right there. That would have been a good Dude, you've got your eyeball in my camera. <laughs> Jack. I'm sure my, 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 my mascara is like all, not mascara, eyeliner. Oh my gosh. All right, can we get to do this? All right, ready? All right, so Tammy, am I in the shot here? Yes. All right, like pretty good, not... Like you're cut off, your arm is. Here. My arm's cut? We'll move over, guys. Come on all right, in. Am I in the shot now? Yes. Are I'm you in the all. shot? We're all in? We're all... You want to swap sides so you can see? No. No, I just want to eat. Can we just get along? Can we eat? All right, grab it.